Yo, 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 welcome to Spoken Minds. I got my boy, D Money, Derek Stevenson in the house with me. Yes, sir. What does uh, Jones always say? It's time. It's time. Thirsty Thursday. Yes, Let's sir. get it. Hey, before we start the show, man, uh, then the, this past week, um, we've had two friends who are were co-workers, union brothers, you know, that passed away. Uh, we had a funeral on Tuesday. My boy Cecil PJ Arnold, you know, great guy, man. And then later that night, man, my my brother, Big Joe Raber, man, he, he passed. And you know, it hurts. You know, you work with you work with people for a long time, and you get to know them, and you become friends. You you become brothers. And then, you know, to see them go, man, it, it hurts. But uh, I just wanted to pay them their respect. You know, they was great guys, man. Man, we love y'all, man. We're going to miss you. Man, rest in heaven. Absolutely. Also, um, yesterday, man, we we lost a legend, man. A legend from our town, from Lexington, man. Charlie Givens. Man, he is a legend here, man. He has been yes, giving sir. back to the kids and our community for so long, man. You know, as a kid, you know, everyone knew Charlie. Yeah. We even, was young. Even the trash ball players like me, man. Everybody knew Charlie, man. He he was always coaching basketball. He had the open gyms at the Salvation Army where you could come and play. Um, he looked at talent around the city. He would send out uh, videos and stuff of kids out to colleges and stuff so they can get looked at. He, he, just a great guy, man. If you ever had the chance to talk to him, man, he's just a great, genuine dude, man. And he's truly going to be missed here in our city, man. Man, we give you all the respect, man. Charlie, you a legend. Big we legend. love you, bro. You a legend. Rest in heaven, my man. Yes, sir. Um, also, to the BTG family, man, we need y'all to send prayers out to, to my brother, Daniel Smith. Y'all know him on Facebook as Smith Mello. Man, he's a good dude. He needs y'all prayers. Just keep him in those prayers, man. Thank you. And uh, speaking of Daniel. His Rams. His Rams host my Bucks this weekend. Our Bucks. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You, ju- on, you jumped on, on the bandwagon. bandwagon. That's right. I, I forgot about that. Yeah, man. Uh, it's going to be a good game. This is one that's, you know, I, with my heart, you know, of course, I'm picking my bucks. Our bucks. Yeah, our bucks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got to get used to that. I'm picking our bucks. But it's tough when you have to travel all the way across the country to the West Coast and play with that time difference. It's it's tough on teams. I think we, you know, we have veterans, so we should be good. It's it's gonna be a really good game. Yeah. Um, like I said, of course I'm picking my Bucks to win. Our Bucks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. But uh, that's all I wanted to say about that game. I don't need to say much else because our Bucks are gonna go win. Absolutely. Um, tonight we have a game. Um, I don't know if you want to call it a game, but we have the Carolina Panthers and the Houston Texans. Yeah, I might go to sleep early. Yeah, me too. I don't know if I'm going to watch it. I might watch a little bit for fantasy purposes, but yeah. if this game doesn't intrigue me at all. Yeah. Who you got winning? Uh, Carolina, just because. I'm going to take Carolina. Carolina's not that bad of a team, man. They, they actually decent. Uh, Houston, <laughs> they quarterback situation. Who knows what's going on? Tyrod Taylor got hurt. Yeah. The organization said it don't matter if he's hurt or not. We still will not play Deshaun Watson. <laughs> so they have Davis Mills. Yeah. He's a rookie. I have no clue who he is. He about to get tore up. I have no clue who he is. I don't either. But – uh. Welcome to the NFL, young fella, because you're getting ready to see what it's like. Yes, sir. Sunday night's game. Sunday night game is going to be kind of interesting. We got San Francisco and the Green Bay Packers. Yeah. 
two trash teams to me. Uh, Chris ain't going to like that, man. Ah, uh, man, I don't care what Chris is talking about. Jimmy Crapolo is horrible. They have not looked good. They struggled against the Eagles. Any team that struggles against the Eagles might as well just give the season up. So you think uh, it's their time to, to shine or they going to stay in the dumpster? Uh, I think uh, Green Bay wins this game easily. Easily? Yeah. I I think I, I take Green Bay and by 10. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a lot, man. 10. Yeah. Give me Green Bay with 10. Um, then we got Monday night's game. We got the Cowboys and the Eagles. Man, this is going to be worth watching, though. No. Nah. Come on, man. You hate all the nah. games this week? No, nah, I don't hate all the games, but that – at Cowboys in Philly. Hey, man. Dallas got a lot of moral victories going on. Man. Hey, now listen. Everyone knows that I can't stand the Cowboys. But do you believe in moral victories or no? No. Moral victories is uh, silly to me. <laughs> I, I despise the Cowboys, but I hope the Cowboys win by a million this week to shut – Andrew, up. I'm tired of hearing his mouth about these horrible eagles, man. Like, please. Like, I hope they get drugged through the mud. I, like, think, I think they are actually going to lose. I, w- I would say probably, I'm going to say Dallas 27, Philadelphia 24. Oh, I don't know if it's going to be yet. I, I'm going to say Dallas 24. Philly 13. 13. <laughs> well, yeah. Man. I think, man, look. Andrew's not going to like that either. I won't know what the score is until Tuesday because I'm not watching it. <laughs> I refuse. I'd rather watch Lifetime. But uh, we got some good games. But what, hold on. What if they bench Zeke and play Pollard, man? I, hey, I told you what. I Man, what I think about that, I think they should start Pollard. I would – if I was the Cowboys, I would be looking to trade Zeke. Mm. You can get another back to help out with Pollard, but I think Pollard is good enough to be a starting back. The reason I say you get rid of Zeke now is you can get something for him. Get some get some picks for next year or and get another defensive player right now to come yeah. in because their defense has improved, yeah. but they still have some pieces that they can get better on, and I think that would work. But that's just my opinion. But uh, this weekend, we also have some good college football games coming up. Yes, sir. We have number seven, Texas A&M, and number 16, Arkansas. Yes, sir. Whew, that's a good one, boy. Yeah. You know, the SEC games are always good ones. Always, man. I'm, I'm going to roll with A&M, but you never know, man. You, you never know with SEC teams. Man, I, I think uh... – I'm going to just go with Arkansas for the upset, man. I'm going to say uh, Arkansas by three. Okay, okay. I like that. I, like I said, man, I think that game could go either way. Uh, we also have Notre Dame and Wisconsin this week. Eh, eh, I'm not too excited about either one of them teams. Yeah, this me year. either. I ain't paying no attention to I, either one of them. Either. I'm not going to pick a score or say who wins because I obviously don't even care. Yeah, I really don't either, honestly. You want to you want to hear something fun? We got uh, something coming on this weekend on Comedy Central. Um, it's a football game, man. It's it's gonna be funny. It's uh, the Louisville Cardinals and Florida State Seminoles, man. man. Now that game is gonna be hilarious. Yeah, I'm gonna pick Louisville to lose by thirty. <laughs> I thought 30 you said you nothing. was gonna pick them. <laughs> as bad as Florida State has looked. Louisville has looked even worse. Sorry, Andrew. Give me Florida State also, man. But this game could end 0-0. 0-0, Florida State. (laughs) They go into Florida State going to win 2-0. They're going to get a safety. (laughs) All right, and we got my boy, our boys. Our boys. The Kentucky Wildcats going to South Carolina. I don't know why, but it's like 
it's always a struggle going to South, going to South Carolina, man. I think we pull the victory yeah. out anyway. It ain't gonna be a struggle this time. I don't think we play as bad as we did last week. Uh, I think we come back and we step it back up. The offense gets going well. Yeah. Uh, I know one thing: our defense got to start playing better at the start of the game. Like they always look bad early. Yeah. And then they pick it up. I think they just don't be locked in. They're not mentally focused when they play in a lesser competition. But when they back in the SEC, I think they're going to be ready. They're going to be focused. I think they'll step up. Yeah, me too. Um, let's get into some basketball. You know, there's reports. Ben Simmons said he will not report uh, to Philly for anything. Yes, sir. Said he is done. He would not play another game for them. Or he won't do anything for them. Do you think that Ben Simmons will get traded? Yeah, I think he'll get traded. Um, I think um, initially he's going to sit out. And um, I think he's going to be a distraction. I think once his paycheck starts getting hit, it's going to get real crazy. And eventually they're going to have to move him. Um, but I think I think they could still get some high value. Like, I know everybody thinks Ben Simmons is trash. And his last performance was trash. But if you look at the grand scheme of things, he still could be a valuable point guard. Like, he can still give you 16 a game. He can still play all NBA defense. He, he could possibly average a triple-double at some point. But I think um, he just needs a fresh start. He got to get his confidence back. Because, I mean, shooting jumpers is one thing, but you got to be able to have enough confidence to shoot layups. And if you if you get fouled, and then you just got to go over and miss the free throws. And it is what it is. But I, I think um, they could still uh, maybe potentially move him to Portland or – Maybe they could move him to Washington. Like, I think there's still some plays to be made, but I think initially he's going to sit and they're going to try to uh, fight with him and just basically it's going to be uh, like I think it was Chris Bruce, uh, Chris Broussard that said it's going to be a battle of chicken to see who folds first. Hey, man, let me go in on this guy. <laughs> there is no one, no one, who should take this guy? I pray. Look, now, Indiana Pacers, if you were listening, you better not <laughs> trade for Ben Simmons. I don't care what it is. You better not because I cannot do it. I cannot, I cannot do it. And then you talking about he still has some worth. What are you going to be worth? Two hot pockets and Man, he, he can still give you a, give some you a, fruit snacks. <laughs> Hey, he's capable of going for 40 and 20. For 40 and 20? For 40 what? He could do it, man. 40 missed free throws? <laughs> he could give you 40 points. How you going to get 40 points? How you going to get 40 man. points if you if you scared to shoot a shot? Well, if he gets his confidence back. Man, man. what confidence? <laughs> when has he had confidence? <laughs> hey, man, he's done 40 a couple times in his career. Yeah, playing without against Joel, bad teams. Without and, Joel, uh, Joel and B, man. Playing against bad teams and scoring at the rim. He just got. But then get team out of, started. Get out of that team toxic, started. Team situation. started realizing I can foul him, and get him on. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, we're gonna take a quick commercial break. We'll see you in just a minute. Welcome back to Spoken Minds. My boy Jones has joined us, and we're going to get into this quick. I had a little car delay. Yeah, nah, we got you. We, we was holding it down. He but, left Tom Brady's funeral early. <laughs> but we're going to get into this uh, what the what. What the what? (laughs) 
Wow. <laughs> Conor McGregor. For a man who talks about <laughs> precision and timing on a punch, you have no precision and time throwing a baseball. Hey, he man. may be worse than 50 Cent. Hey, man, he. I think he hit the – how can you throw a punch but not throw a baseball? I don't. Hey, bro, he hit the guy up there hollering popcorn. He hit him in the back. Goodness <laughs> gracious, man! Hey, you know what it is? He gets his suits tailored a little too tight. I so question his. I question his athletic lotion. ability. You know what I? Think? I don't even know if he's really an athlete. I think I've been bamboozled. You know what I think? I think he seen somebody up in the stands and said, "He's got me good." <laughs> that just goes to show you, because you're an athlete, that don't mean you could play every sport. Hey, man. That, no, I mean, real. he can't throw a baseball. We're going to have to take this to BTG, and we're going to put this video goodness, alongside 50's video, and we're going to we're gonna get this debate going on. Who Both had the worst? Who had the worst first pitch? I mean, that, that was I, I can't bad. believe. Why did they even have Conor McGregor out there, first and foremost? Because <laughs> he ain't won nothing. He ain't done nothing. Man, he been getting I mean, up on. he... How can you throw a punch but can't throw a baseball? It makes – can you throw a baseball? I can throw a baseball. I beg to differ. Can you? <laughs> I can. I believe in you. Thank you. Mary Todd, I believe in you. I don't think oh, he can. Oh, man. And that's on 400. <laughs> 400. Oh, man. They play I, kickball, not baseball. But Conor McGregor, that was terrible. You made a laughing stock of yourself. I hope when you come back in the UFC, uh, you have a little bit better time and precision. Hey, are you going to go in on him uh, tomorrow on your show, um, first take, Chris Bayless? <laughs> uh. <laughs> there you go with that. Uh, no, it ain't first take. Which one is it now? Undisputed. Undisputed. It's yeah. not neither one. Undisputed. Spoken <laughs> minds, Chris Jones. You, when you speak, you speak like, okay. like Skip Bayless, and you look. If I'm Skip Bayless, not, then you, you look like Shannon Sharp, but you speak like Skip Bayless. I look like Shannon Sharp. <laughs> okay, Ike Whitlock. <laughs> Got I, Ike Whitlock over I, well, uh We actually have two what the what's this week, man. Check this one out. What the what? Man, I don't know if y'all have seen, but down on the border... They have cops riding around on horses with cracking with whips. whips, whipping these Haitians. And it's a very troubling thing to see. I mean, it, it, it really it really gets to me to see that. I mean, it's back in, it looks like some 1794 stuff. I thought we was past that. I mean, I get it. We don't want illegal immigrants coming over the border. But we still, want them to... Follow the proper procedure to come to America, but this right here, yeah, man, is is insane. It's it's not humane. No, it's definitely not humane, man. Like these, you know, these people, man. They uh, most of them are malnutritious. They haven't ate. Yeah, like they're they're frail and skinny, and they probably haven't ate in days. And then like could barely walk. What bothered me the most is when I I seen one one picture where the officer was was whipping one of the Haitians and he had a smile on his face like he was grinning like it was exciting to him to do this and it, it just bothered me man it for a country that we pride ourselves on equality and opportunity and and I don't want to get into political you know Biden Trump thing but it's starting to really feel like the wild wasn't a bad idea I know you probably agree with me on that. I mean, because at the end of the day, I it's mean. It's better than whipping people. It's better than whipping people. <laughs> Seriously. Again, I get it. We want people to follow the proper procedures to take advantage of the opportunities we have in America. But if they don't, this ain't it. And where, where's the, we got where's the cancel killed. culture when when this type of stuff happens? And Why ain't you I, canceling this Border Patrol uh, And Derek, you can enlighten me on this. this. Has Biden said anything about this? Well, Whenever they questioned the secretary, she basically was copping, please. She was saying she don't know what context it was. And then whenever That's she crazy. was pressed by a reporter, 
the reporter was like, do you need to know what the context is? And then it was like, well, we'll, you know, we just got wind of this, so we'll. That's one of them things, man. I mean, he needs to come to the forefront. He runs the country. He needs to come to the forefront. And this should be stopped immediately because this is not the way to treat immigrants trying to come over for opportunity. Obviously, they got things going on in their country, third world country, that's terrible. They looking for a better life. And this is how we treat them when they come over. We're treating them worse than what they did back at home. Yeah, man. It it just How we the land opportunity, but we we treat them like prisoners and criminals before we even give them a chance. It's yeah, terrible. It really it really, really bothers. Everybody me. that was supporting Chucks and Pearls and Biden before this, stand up and let's hold him accountable and make sure we do the right thing. Everybody does wrong, everybody makes mistakes. But one thing about America, we right our wrongs, we give people second chances, and it's okay to make a mistake, as long as we correct it. Yeah, seeing this, man, make, makes me angry and it makes me sad. It man. really like, makes me sad, man. I have a son that's part Haitian. I hate for him to go back to his country and come back, and because they may not see his papers, this happens. Yeah, man, it's, it's pretty bad, man. Because I'd be in the car doing 100 miles an hour down there towards the border. Well, uh, and I'd be like Django. Let's get into some uh, positive stuff, man. I, you know, I got to get away from that talk. But You mean positive like the Rams? Nah, man. <laughs> like the Bucks. But uh, we have our giving back segment. And this week, our giving back goes uh, goes to the one and only Quentin Roberts. My guy. Man, hey, Q has been giving back to kids for a long time now, and he man. doesn't even have kids. I, I know, and, and his, that must make it pa- even more. His passion special. to give back to kids through sports, and is has been big. Like he's coached uh, the eight five nine Nuggets, the basketball AAU. Yes, he did a lot of that for a long time. He's helped and, a lot of kids develop, get better, and get to school. And he pushes he pushes grades on the kids. He wants them doing well in school. I think he was doing baseball for a minute too. Yeah. And what really what really special about what Q's got going on? I mean, we all know Q. I, I don't remember Q ever really playing football. Yeah, that's that's what I was. He didn't play football in high school, and now he he learned the craft. He seems knowledgeable, and you really have to have a passion for it and do your studying to really tap into these kids and make them better. And all the kids that I've seen that went through his program have really achieved and been great leaving the program Mm -hmm. in high schools and going forward. So, Q, we definitely salute you with what you got going on. I know he's coaching Paris Middle School now. Yeah, man. I'm almost certain, without a doubt in my mind, he's going to change that program. Of course, for anybody watching, he, they have open enrollment in per, uh, in Bourbon County and in Paris. I'm just throwing it out there for any kids who want an opportunity. That's that's a place I would go, and that's a coach I would want to send my kids to play for. Yeah, because he's he, gonna definitely get the best out of them, and he really got their best interest at heart. I, again, he doesn't have any kids, so he has no he has no benefit. I mean, he's doing this straight from the heart as far as helping kids, and without any kind of intentions whatsoever to for his kid to succeed because he has none. So shout out to Q. Keep doing what you do. We recognize what you're doing, and we salute you here. Yeah, man. Uh, what he's done with this Ravens program has been big, man. He's He's been doing this for a long time, along with Michael McKee, uh, my and dog, Ter- Keezy, and, Ter- and Terry Hicks, my and dog. And the city but, football's uh, dying, man. But yeah, They're trying so, to keep it strong. But what I love, man, is like – they gen they don't they not just about winning football games. No. They really care about these kids. Like and it's not just when they're playing for the Ravens. Like after they All leave season. the Ravens and they go on to play middle school football and high school football, they still support these guys. That's, that's the definition of And they of still a tr- care about these guys. Definition of a true brotherhood. And the one thing that he does that I like too is he uh he takes them and plays a whole lot of out-of-state tournaments, and mm-hmm. he takes them and lets them get a little culture. Get, get he takes exposure, them to, yeah. Which is also good because I didn't really travel that much when I was playing youth sports. So 
to take I traveled out of time, and, man, and that's beautiful. To see some of the other mm-hmm. things going on. That's, you got, that's, that's memories we trash forever. Yeah. And when he takes them out of town, they go to see monuments. They go to see these stadiums. I mean, I traveled and played sports my whole life. That's stuff that will stick with me forever. Some of these kids will never go out of town ever again. Yeah. Besides what they're doing now. That's what I was going to say, man. There's You got kids that has never been out, outside of Lexington. Uh, you know, the families and there's no might discrimination. not be able to afford to take them out. If your out kid's and they, really behind and he's not that good, they'll give him a chance and they'll still tap into him to make him better. I mean, he's really trying to keep youth sports alive in Lexington, which is dying. I mean, Parks and Rec's really not giving them – the lead way to do what they need to do and they're really not supporting it. So shout out to him. Shout out to everybody who's coaching in Park and Rec still. Paul Jones still with the Dolphins and with Douglas Park. But we definitely giving Q his flowers. Uh, you deserve much more than just a segment we giving you here. Plus you a fellow 49ers 49ers fan. So I oh, definitely man, we're nah, on the same page. Nah, you gonna give him props about being uh the 49ers fan. Nah, about being a fellow. Nah, he's a fellow Lafayette general. A 2001 state champion. Well, I don't know about all that. Generals, I don't man. remember that. Lafayette, baby. I graduated 2001. I, I, I kind of I was already them. out of high school. But, you know, my little brother played with Lafayette. Man, I was at Well, I ain't giving them props about game. the championship because they beat us three times. So, I'm not giving him props about that. I kind of don't want to talk about them beating us three times and hey, winning that championship. I don't want to talk about that. Fellow 49ers, Ravens, we love you. Hey, Q, Q. man. Hey, Q. Much respect, man. Give you your flowers, brother. You deserve it, King. Just don't talk about Lafayette. Uh, nah, he's always going to talk about Lafayette. That's where we're going to talk about that's that. That's where we did. <laughs> Ravens, his squad. His squad. Tap baby. in, baby. Yeah, yeah. Hey, for real, if you got kids out there, y'all, that want to play football, interested in football, man, Get in contact with with Quentin Roberts or Terry Hicks or uh, Michael McKee. Get in t- contact with them. Good. They but but he don't take entitled kids. He want kids that want to work and earn. Yeah, they respect them. And, and that's the way it should be, man. That, the old school way. That's a good way. thing. The old school way, man. You have to earn your spot, but you earn it through hard work. If you show up at the workouts, I know they do a lot of off season workouts. You show up, you get better. And you and you earn your spot, and, and that's what and that's the definition of Q. You know, like I said, I've been playing ball with Q my whole life. He is the definition of hard work and earning his keeps, man. That's my guy. We used to lift weights and work out together. Whenever you' ready, we can get back on that path as well. But uh, definitely, shout out to you. Yeah. All right, well, you know, we always end our show with a good old random rant. Random rant. And I know you got a special random rant that you wanted to get off you your chest You know what really week. grinds my gears? What is it? Crabs in the Borough City of Lexington. We had, a, we had a show this past upcoming weekend. Moneybag Yo was supposed to come. Well, he came supposed to. But me looking on the outside, man, what really gets to me, man, is the way the folks are in Lexington. Everybody's always being negative and pulling you down. They'd rather spend more energy hating and downing you and protesting what you're doing than spending time on themselves when they don't even know how they're going to pay their rent next week. People don't even know how they're going to pay their rent next week or how they're going to get their bills paid. Instead of focusing on that, they want to down your success and down what you're doing and hurt what you got going on and hate on you. And that's terrible. I mean, I did move away from the city, and it just really breaks my heart to see how nobody supports each other around here. Yeah, man. And even diving in a little deeper, man, what we've been going through here with BTG and Spoken Minds, it's crazy. I have friends that, I have people that I've called lifelong friends that I've been friends with forever. And I also see people that I call my friends. They've been hating on a lot of the stuff that's going on. We're trying to put on for the city. A lot of people's trying to put on for the city. A lot of people need to come together. I don't know why won't nobody support each other. It's okay to have multiple people doing the same thing. We don't mind that. We're not hating on you. If two people want to have concerts, if people want to have you know uh, after party shows, that's okay. Everybody come together because we all need to come together. That's the difference between Atlanta, Charleston, Charlotte, bigger cities. Everybody support each other. If you start a show, it's okay. Guess what? I will support you and share your stuff. 
Yeah. But for some reason, they don't want to share our content. But and at the same time, we're smiling share. on our face. We, if, you know, there's other sports groups and stuff that's, that goes around. And, like, when we share our content into their groups, they're deleting our content out of their group. Like, and that's we, crazy, we man. We share our show in there. We, we just... So we just want the support how you gonna for say you show. My how you going to say you my dog and you my homie and we cool and when we see each other, it's our love, but at the same time say, you know what, uh, I'm going to delete your content. I'm not going to share your show. And that's okay if that's how you feel, but here at BTG and Spoken Minds, we're trying to change that. Guess what? You don't have to share our show. You don't have to support us because I'm going to show you something different because that's God's way and that's God's plan and that's what's in my heart and I know what's, what's mm -hmm. in your heart. I will still support you. I will still share your show and I will show up at whatever you have going on to support you because that's what we need to do. Not as just black people, not as just a culture, but just as a whole city and people here in Lexington. It's really bad and we have to change that mentality. I don't know how yeah. it changed. Then, uh, back on the, uh, the concert this past weekend, man, um, you know, like what I seen was a lot of people that instead of being just mad that that money bag yo didn't show or what how whatever happened, they took that anger and put it on hate for the local artists who opened up. And okay, you're not gonna like every local artist. Some local artists I might not like their music. But I so I'm gonna support everyone in my city if they trying to make it. And the thing is, y'all not even giving them a chance. Y'all hate local artists, but y'all haven't even listened to one song or the message that they saying and portraying. Because music is therapy. Mm -hmm. How can you not relate to what they're saying? Because they talking about stuff that we're going through here in the city. And we if have, you don't like them, it's cool. We have good talent in this. We city. have great talent. Slime yeah. Bush got a lot of good stuff going on. GGE, I support y'all. But I KSL mean, he's talking Burner, like, about stuff uh, that's trap you're queenie. going through. We, man, we got some. We got some people, man. So y'all, really so y'all want to bang Jay Z thing. and Drake and Kanye? And I don't even understand what they're talking about in their music. I mean, I really don't. I mean, I don't know what, I can't relate to what Kanye is talking about hey, right now. I don't know what he's talking about. Some people say he's eclectic. Guess what? Sometimes it's too far. You're not living the same lifestyle as me. But somebody who's going through the same things you're going through in the city, facing the same adversity you're facing, and they put it in music form, you saying you can't relate and you don't understand it, but you understand Kanye got a whole minute of saying Donda. Hey, man. <laughs> I, you don't even know his mama. I don't even want. I don't. You even, don't know his mama, but you you can go over to my boy's house and eat at their table with his mama. How is that possible? I don't get it, man. I don't get it at all, man. Lexington, we have to change it. If you don't want to support whatever somebody's got going on, that's cool. Move on with your life and spend your time and energy doing something positive for you. Don't hate on the next man because you don't like it. That don't mean somebody else ain't gonna like it. Right. Well, look, that's the way we're gonna end our show. Listen, and this is all out of love. Support your people from your city. Like support. Not not just with the with this show, not just with sports groups, not just with music, with everything, man. Like show support. If you see somebody on your social media that does makeup or does hair or cuts hair or Support. Does breaks or cleans carpet, and they post something about it. Share it. Sure. I, I mean, what's so hard with clicking? Or even just, just give them a one shot. Button. Give them a shot. If you get your eyelashes done, and you get your hair uh, done, if you're getting your lashes done. Hit my girl up, Love Love Lynn. Love Lynn. I, I'll put the, uh, I'll put all her stuff up right here for Come you, on, so man. you can click on the link and you can book appointments. Man, she's great with it, man. You could probably get Tune in and in. book there instead of booking with the Chinese or Vietnamese and then you got to wait a month or two. Mm -hmm. At least give somebody a shot before you have a negative comment or something about what they do. We because a lot of times they're going to give you good customer service and pay the price. <laughs> Quit arguing about the price. Y'all don't go to dealers and, and debate with them about the price for those jeans y'all getting. Right. Quit debating the price. Pay it. Well, y'all do y'all do me a favor. This week, support somebody. It don't matter who it is. And then after you do that, next week, support somebody else. Please. And while you're at it, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Sports Spoken Minds. Like, 
comment, and share. Yes, sir. And and listen, when we when this show first gets posted, we want you guys to share. If you share this this show, and you show and you can show us also tag, when you share the show, make sure you tag either myself, Isaiah Ike Barron, or Chris Jones, Quentin Walker, or Derek Stevenson. Tag one of us in it so we know that you shared it. And then also show proof that you are subscribed to the channel. And we are going to be giving a giveaway this weekend. Who don't like free stuff? Please, just do it. Like, why not? It's not hard. I mean, all you got to do is click a button. You click a button to subscribe. You click a button to share. And you got a chance to win. Everybody wants to do something for free. We're constantly looking to give away free stuff to help you guys out. And we appreciate y'all supporting us. And we're going to always do stuff for the people who already support us. But at the same time, man, you know, same thing in Lexington. Give people a shot before you down them. Just because you grew up with them don't mean you look at them in the same light as you can do it better than them. Because if you can, then do it. Yep. If you can do something that they're doing and, you, and that's your motivation to hate, that's cool. That's whatever. If your motivation is to hate on somebody and that provokes you to do something positive, do that. And guess what? We'll still support you. Right. Also, uh, if you want, if you ever want to be a special guest on this show, let us know. Just um, talk to one of us Please. And, and let us know. Man. Especially if you're dark skinned. It, because I'm tired of all this light skinned stuff in here. <laughs> we would love to Anybody have dark skinned, you will be on the show. I will boot him out because I'm tired <laughs> of it. Him and Q, I mean, I'm, I mean, Please, somebody, hey, anybody. But that's the show for this week, man. We'll see y'all next week. We love y'all, man. Big 400.